These are the most dangerous serial killers active in 2023. When Shannon Gilbert went missing in 2010, the search uncovered four other women's bodies in the area. This was the work of a man known as the Long Island Serial Killer, a highly organized killer preying on sex workers. No trace of the killer has ever been found and officials believe he may know how to outfox the authorities, as they believe he could possibly be a former police officer. Many people didn't even believe the Chicago Strangler was a true serial killer. After all, it could be many different people attacking young women in Chicago and strangling them. But after the number of victims increased in 2017, the Chicago Tribune published an expose. And while there's more attention on the case, the killer is still at large. Is the most prolific serial killer of all time still active in the Andes? Pedro Lopez has been killing since the 70s and was nearly executed in 1978, but he was ultimately released and began killing again. He disappeared after being released from prison again in 1998 and is believed to have killed hundreds of people.